What's up YouTube? My name is John Jackson and today we are talking about this transition effect in After Effects. Now what's happening here is it's really just the same shape duplicated many, 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 many times and then offset in a different sequence so that you can get this cool transition effect. So whoosh, to do this, what you need are two plugins. Do I have to spend money on this? No, you do not. They are two free plugins, one of which is D-Layer by my friend Sergey Proknevsky from EucreMedia.com. This is not sponsored. I've mentioned him on the channel in the past. I love his stuff, so highly recommend checking that out. And the other is Utility Box by Voxide. So with these two plugins, you can create this cool transition effect very, very quickly without having to do a whole lot of math of like where layers should go so it all looks structured and all that. So without further ado, let's dive right in After Effects and maybe try sticking within two minutes, but yeah, uh, computer time? All right, we are in After Effects and we have this composition where there is a cut between these two clips. So to get this started, we're gonna need to make a new composition. We will put this in the pre-comps and we'll just call this shape underscore source. And this shape source has to be divisible by your frame of your output to some degree. So let's just do 120. 20 by 120. Cool. What we're gonna do now is make a shape layer. So double click on your shape tool. Let's get rid of that fill. And then let's scale this down just a little bit. And we'll add that flicker effect that we used in the last tutorial. If you have not checked that out, link will be up here, but flicker. Ba -da -da. Just a little flicker on off and let's make sure that the stroke is set to white. We got this one, two, duplicating stroke, one, two, and then let's duplicate that and move that down, say six frames. And then we'll set that back to 120. So you get this offset shape and we'll do one more duplication on that shape and we'll move that an down another six frames and we'll hit UU on your keyboard to reveal all the properties. Hit Control Shift E to remove all of the effects and then we'll go to that size and at the beginning of the playhead for that third shape that we just made, we'll set that to zero. And then we'll go forward, say, to a second and a half. So we're at 12 frames right now. Just go 24 frames down and just set that to 120. And then we will get rid of the stroke. And we will add a fill and also set that to white. You know, that is a little too slow for me. I want this to be a little bit faster, so we'll set this to say one second. So the entire animation occurs over one second. And we'll just select those keyframes, hit F9, because that always looks nice. And let's just see what this looks like. Doop. All right, cool. So now what we gotta do is gotta make the transition comp. So to do that, we'll take our shape and we'll drag that into a new composition and we'll hit Control Shift K, I'm sorry, Control K, and we will set the width and height by another square. So let's say 1920 by 1920 because we know our output is gonna be 1920. And we'll call this shape transition. Awesome, so we have our little shape in the center and it does the scale up sort of thing. Now, what we have to do is we have to, we have to fill this entire frame with these. And what you could do is duplicate this a lot. And we know that we're dealing with a 1920 composition by 1920. So if you just do 1920 by 19, divided by 120, so 
calculator. 1920 divided by 120. You need 16 by 16. So we could just duplicate this a bunch of times and have a bunch of comps, but that's where utility box comes in. So let's drag this panel out and let's open up utility box and let's go to clones. And now we said 16 by 16, but we're gonna do 17. And there's a rhyme and reason behind this. So I'll explain that in a minute, but we're gonna do 17 across. And we know that the composition, the little shape is 120 pixels. So 120 and then 17 by 120. We're gonna click add link and create. And it's going to do the thing. So wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and it's doing the thing and making lots of comps. All right, are we done? Still doing the thing. All right, so now we have lots of layers of the source of the little shape, 291 to be exact. So let's go back up and we have this little null layer that's going to control things. So we can just move this guy around, it's gonna move the shape. And now if we just go through, it's going to animate all those on. Now, depending on how small or big this is, you might need to do a pre-render, but that just gets us started. So we're gonna go to the position of that null. And we know that the little composition is 120. So we want it off, off the frame by half of that. So let's do negative 60 by negative 60. And then what that's gonna do is, because we have an odd number, you're gonna get one that is directly in the middle of your matte composition. So of this composition, you'll have one that's directly in the middle. So what we're gonna do now is we need to offset these, and that's where delayer comes in. So. We gotta do, the way this plugin works, there's a little workaround that you have to do. Um, so first we are going to get rid of this null layer. So you're gonna see a lot of errors and you see this expression here. Now, the way D layer works is it can't be parented to another layer, all the layers, and it is position based. And what we're gonna do to work around that is get first get rid of this expression. So alt click on the stopwatch and then re-add an expression. So it just says transform.position. You're going to right click on that, copy expression only, control A to select all your layers and control V to paste. And all the errors disappear. So now we get same thing, but there's no errors, yay. And then we're gonna control A again, control alt home and it's going to center your composition and you're going to, we know that if we set our rulers up, edit value 960, and if we add one more ruler, 960. And now we see that there's a shape directly in the middle. So now we can use delayer to offset this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the beginning of the composition, Control A, U just to collapse it, delayer, and then you can just, with this plugin, do a lot of cool things. You can just set how long you want it to delay. So let's say 15 frames, and you can change the direction. So it could be center out. So let's start with center out, and what that's gonna do is it's going to offset all the layers, and sometimes it moves it down the frame, so just find that in point. Oh, it is already set. So, and then you can just play that back. Cool beans. So let's let's undo that control Z and do left to right, just so you can see, uh, actually, excuse me, right to left, excuse me. So now if we play that back, and this is why I said you might need to do pre-renders. There you go. Now we got this comp, you can now take this transition and go into your main composition and just drop this over your cut Let's see. and then set the in point of that layer right there. And then all you gotta do now is just set the transfer mode on your 
clip to alpha mat. It's gonna look for any anything that's gonna take up data and there's the transition. Now, because there's nothing under this layer now, you gotta drag that out. There you go, there's the transition. Super simple. And the way this is useful is now you can go into this original composition and change the effect of the transition. So if you want it faster or slower, you can just say delay in frames by 30. And then let's say we want it going top to bottom. And just wait for it to do the thing. You can make it go real, real fast. Let's just say 10 and then Now it does that and we go back to our main. There you go. That's the transition. Really easy using these two plugins. In the past, you would have had to find out the math and duplicate things or make an expression so that everything offsets. But this way, it's really, really simple and you can create some really cool effects with this technique. And what's cool about this as well is you could just go into this original composition and change the shape so you get a different look. So let's just rotate everything by 45 degrees. And now what it's gonna look like is that and maybe we might need to go into these compositions and change so we're not getting some harsh edges so 100 Let's see how that looks one two So all you gotta do is make sure that the final shape comp fills up the entire screen and now you get that kind of look. So that's the tutorial. I hope this was useful. I know I'm gonna be using this a lot because you can do some real cool things with this. Like uh, here, fast forward and uh, I'll explain in a second. All right, so I fast forwarded and now I got this this cool looking extra blue portion added to like the edge of it. So yeah, you can do some cool things. So these two plugins once again are D-Layer by Euchre Media and Utility Box by Boxed. I highly recommend checking them out because they are free and very useful. I use them almost every day in my daily workflow. So yeah, that's it. Hope this video was useful. If it was, let me know in the comments. If you have questions, let me know. Um, if you had breakfast, well, what did you have for breakfast? I don't know. All right, bye, uh, lens cap. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hey, check it. Uh. Put the place up.